have been quite the battle a strong team to take on. It's come, come down to, we ended our game two segment talking about the fact that the late game matchup was very important. How do you feel about it here? That's where I have faith in the Brood. I think the Brood can carry this late uh, with the Snapfire too. Oh, glimpse early on a TA-2000. No attempts at necessarily getting a kill off an arrow or anything. Just kind of kicking him out of lane. So maybe just trying Valuable. to set up for a stronger laning phase for the Lycan. Yeah, he's going to have to TP. This is a lot of regen burn. Look the reflection level one. Normally when you play with this reflection level one, you want to be full so you can just run up and get some extra hits in while they're slowed. Starfall, Starfall for boxing means he will be able to trade with the Wolves level one as well. This lane looks like it should be free farm for Zai. I don't see Quest punishing him. Maybe the level two with meta or level three with the shadow poison. Still should be a good early game for Zai. The real question is, what do these killed. mids do? Like, does Noob just get a free game and he gets to play a Snapfire, which we've seen pop off every game? Or does Nisha make more out of the Ember Spirit than he did? Because the last time I saw him play the Ember, especially versus the Brood, you remember he went the Battle Fury Daedalus builds. Yeah. That yeah. Did, did not end up working and felt a little flat. So I'm curious if he goes probably Maelstrom again into what? Does he go for like a Spellcaster build? Does he try and do some weird pseudo physical magical build again i feel like he's not gonna go for that physical he did have a better performance with it uh this morning where he went that build uh the maelstrom build so yeah and i expect uh, that to be the case so this might be a bit more of a well-rounded performance from nisha hopefully bounce back from that game too because that was a rough game for him. also how does the laning phase go for meta gonna be used that's gonna secure first blood kiori is gonna be the one to take the last hit now they're gonna set up with a disruption get in front of the lycan can they get two kills off this one? So the like guy is going to be super low. He has Ooh. stick charges and four stack is not near. Because right now he wants the flame guard against Noob, but he also needs the chains to help Boxy Refreshing. secure arrow kills. Radiance middle tower this is, is sometimes the Ember Paradox. You want the flame guard to farm, push the wave in, do better in lane, and then be better on the map. Your team wants the chains, so you can set up the ganks and enable your supports. And a lot of times mids do not want to do that if they feel like they need the flame guard build. More body blocks on Zai. Pops a stick. Looks like he is going to be okay, but again, just pushed out of the lane every single time this meta. The R Tor EG uh -huh. picked the Lycan, he instantly just terrorbladed it. <laughs> just for that alone. I mean, hard not to when you get so much base damage out of yeah, meta, and then you get another 40% on top of that. Especially back then, terribly was. Noob is going to die finally to one of those support rotations in Sania. Yeah, it's good that Insania it, moved, I think. I don't think he's doing anything bottom. Yeah. I think it's a dead lane for him. He can't do the pull because the Brood's constantly pushing it in. He's not helping Mikkei on the on the wave Dying CS at all. There's no kill threat. Time to just get out there and, and make something Dying happen. Dying's gonna get run down here underneath the tower? Oh yeah, EA 2000 doesn't even require the collection that was coming up. I thought this lane was just gonna go play. try and take Wisdom Rune. He's going to be playing with the Wolves to stop the Shadow Demon from going through the Wisdom Rune. Amar, glimpse back. They have a chance to get this kill. They do. It's looking okay. Mikkei doesn't have the finishing blow though because Amar had a bit too much. He has no stun. He has nothing. Just gets out quick. Double Wisdom Rune going to quest. This Marana is still level two. You're gonna need some crazy kills for Liquid to turn around this experience deficit that they're in right now. And Ty, behind has to go back up. for the neutral item. He's gonna be disrupted. He's gonna be killed with the new rotation like this. Double damage. Double damage into TA 2000 tank, perhaps. It is mean if they can burst him with Static Storm. Touch the dream. They have to hit this kinetic field to lock him in. They got him. Scanning. Kind of similar to that move on TA 2000 earlier. The another one of these smokes that kind of needs to connect. Or at least transfer into an objective. He really wants supports here. Maybe the Terrorblade again if you can get him in a Static Storm. <laughs> Gonna and catch something out of this, surely with the glim. <laughs> Yeah, they are. The arrow is going to slip on by. Doesn't land on anything. They have a lockdown onto the Ember Spirit, but not enough damage thanks to the Static Storm. Amar has already cleaned up the Disruptor. They lose the Rubik, though, at the same time. Meanwhile, Shape Shifted up like it is in pretty deep, and he's going to have to run. That's there. Yeah, he's looking in the back, and he has Hex done, and Insania is the first victim. So he has, does manage to get him away. He's just and one he's before. on everybody right now. He finally uses his BKB to get out of oh. the field disruption safe. 
Oh, but they're going to come back in with the Ember. The slide doesn't actually land, though. He was Got still close one. at the time. He needs another one, but he's purged now. He's not going to catch up. Boxy's on the chase. Static Storm's going to be used on the Terrorblade. The Terrorblade gets no problem. Mickey's committing for the kill. The Silence is going to wear up soon. The arrow comes through. It's not enough. Manta TA2000 gets off the Sunder. He's good now. And Zai has to leave the Morphling behind. He'll go for the fast kill on the new one. Another oh, interruption from Kaori. Keeps on getting him out. So many long Boxy's heroes. In. Boxy's in. He sees all these low heroes. He wants all of them. And he will get two of them, thanks in part to Insania, who is going to be chased down. Glimmer will not save you for long enough. Four dead and blind to this going on. And they're killing the dragon mid. Plus 250. Maybe they just don't care. Maybe they feel like it's too hard to contest with the brood. She's wanting to commit all her webs up there, Selene. Either way, that's Butterfly done for Terrorblade, as Mickey will claim it. See what Liquor will want to do with it. Dyer's it's probably going to be a smoke with the wards if you have them. Radiant's top tower is under attack. You have Dagon on Boxy, too. Everyone was extra pros. Radiant's top tower. Here's item coming. choice. They're going to find Amar. Oh, again, running into Amar. Does not know this Hex is here. Get him on the bones back. Force him to use his BKB. And this damage is maybe a little bit too much tense for him. Uh, 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 okay. Mickey, uh, pump. Whereas 10 minutes ago, it felt like they controlled the whole map. Yeah. But maybe they'll feel good about going back for it once they have the Lincolns. Oh, you're for Amar spotted. Danger. Amar gets sight. And now, Mickey does turn into the Brute Mother. Oh the damage, God. the damage, the damage, man! <laughs> what is that? It's so fast. He just starts hitting there in time, and there's far no too much vision from Quest. It's this Moonlight Shadow and Smoke Breaks. It's still like the fight on a ward. Yeah, they've got this ward on the right-hand side here they're going to play off of. 20 seconds for Lycan ult, though. But look at Noob. He's leading the charge here with this Silver very Edge. aggressive. Breaks the smoke. He sees me. Play like back to the side. They have this nice ward. Slight chain. It's going to be... Oh, nice arrow! Caught him on the side. Putting two minutes of force. Oh, that heck. Up to the high ground. The heck. He's out on the big game. They're in trouble. He gets off the BKB. He turns around the light field. Look at him go. Now, he does need to keep hitting. Otherwise, he's going to be in trouble. against TA 2000. Pop Manda trying to run himself away. Don't live. Down to Elgin. He's just blasting out. The shotgun. Out. I knew. Nisha now has to get out at this point in time. Slide jump away to his remnant. Liquid are going to be losing more heroes. Surely somebody's going to die off of this. Nisha got the noob. He's got the kisses. They got the scythe on him. Double pick up for noob. Six slice by was that last fight. He did not. Radiance courier has been killed. Pretty good angle here. He's a high ground off. Good angle. If Amar isn't the one to be spotted. I mean, look what you have a choice. Do you want to fight this? or Do you want to get the hell out? Yeah, they're pushed into a corner. This could go very, very bad or very, very good, depending on what they find. Amar blinks into them, and they've already got the pick off onto the Rubik. Turned into a piggy, though. Ember did on not the, the shape shift off. Ember and Noob having their own one on one. Nisha is in no man's land. And the rest of Liquid can back up into him now because Quest had to go defend their base. So now these heroes are in the middle of no man's land. Fiori is going to try and TP away. They spot him and they get him with a sight. Old support's gone oh, for quest of oh, that weird rules. Do not care about your armor. Okay, you've got the, the triple little shredder shot now, so that'll give you. Oh, we actually got the level 25. Faster lane shove and much more intense team fight damage. He just needs actual damage items to back it up. Yeah, he needs like one more Daedalus here or something. And yeah. It was going to be a real threat. Also, that shard went through the mark. Definitely happy about that one. And finally took that level 20 talent as there's no more stats left to take. <laughs> <laughs> he will be forced into taking 35 attack speed. Wow. Must feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty nice stat to pick up, I guess. What is this? I'm going to go through and head towards Roshan here, but you could see quest I'm gonna push out into it as well. Radiant Roche, that means Radiant Buyback. But it is gonna switch over in a minute. So, Quest. Yeah, they also don't have any on Liquid. Like, they pretty much all bought out right now. Only Boxy. And also, Liquid did fine the last time they gave up the Aegis. So, is this something you want to fight to the death for? Here we go. Oh, lands onto a barn. They break through Lincolns. They're gonna be able to one through here. But they got the Scythe on to make a Mickey. Oh, he's gone. Die fast, he's dead. 90 seconds 
No buyback. A chance for Quest to not just take Roshan, but maybe take so much more. He did not respect and stall something. However, Quest have gotten to your base. They still have meta up. Amar is in. Yep, he was set up immediately. The BKB does go off. They get a glimpse oh, yeah. back onto him. Glimmer Cape. Oh, it's Glass. Marvel's in trouble. Glimmer Cape's going to be able to help him out. Amar is in trouble. He's in so damn deep. Disruption finds him a little bit of time here. And Air wave. Air wave over the top. But he should jump over it. Oh, and got Amar. onto Amar. What have you done? What have you done, son? His aggression has been a boon for Quest, but here it might have been a downfall. He just doesn't have detection or dispel on this stupid river cape. It's ruined him so hard in so many of these fights. Just buy some dust or something. I don't know. I mean, a different Amar, a different game he would have. No, a search bar. <laughs> D-U. And he probably had to tell him it existed. Now Nisha, level 25 himself. Oh, no. Like Bought it out, Kiori, but he does have the, the self purge. So we got rid of the chains. Glimmer Cape. Yeah, but he, he had to go back to base to deal with the waves. He did. With the arrow, but he's, and there's no meta, no tear wave. Slight chains. Arrow off the Not able to work, though. Man, that's Watching, get away from it, stuck inside the kinetic field. Oh, they got the pair of the vision, they have the static sword. There's the disruption plus the token. Yeah, yeah, but the they support. two supports, and that's what they wanted. They didn't care about the terror blades. Long as these gifts, these little shredders don't go to work. Onisha still working on Amar. Finally, get some slight dodge to the terror wave once again. Mickey, he's in committed deep. Goes for TA 2000. She's on cool the opportunity to be able to get off uh, some sort of invisibility. Oh, yeah, away. The trees blink out, desperately trying to get away from Liquid. And he is going to be able to get out. Quest are getting routed right now. They don't have an answer to the wolf just running in and decimating their backline. There's nobody to protect it. The save saved the cores, but who saves the supports here? He just on Amar as well, and he's able to get nothing done with it. Looking for that nullifier that he probably wished he had a long time ago at Liquid's base. And now Mickey, the Lincoln Spears are on top. The Solar Crest is on top. He's ready to take some buildings. Noob forced into a buyback here. His dreams of a damage item. Spearing before his eyes, and he doesn't even stop Liquid. They still take that melee Ferris. They're still going to push Chopper on high ground. Immediately working into the terror blade here. Not caring about that. Luke is not there anymore. Mike is not in feeling. They're going to try to burn through the enemy save. Man, Donna's going to wait for him back in with the same thing. And he's not reeling the damage mission out. Oh, you're in trouble. They're turning out the TA 2000.